third heart sound. The third heart sound is also of low frequency, but it is heard just after the second heart sound. It occurs in early diastole, during the time of rapid ventricular filling. This sound occurs about 140 to 160 milliseconds after the second sound. The S3 is often heard in normal children or young adults, but when heard in individuals over the age of 40, it usually reflects cardiac disease, characterized by ventricular dilatation, decreased systolic function, and elevated ventricular diastolic filling pressure. Its nomenclature includes the term ventricular gallop, protodiastolic gallop, S3 gallop, or the more common S3. When normal, it is referred to as a physiological third heart sound and is usually not heard past the age of 40. The abnormal or pathological third heart sound may be heard in individuals with coronary artery disease, cardiomyopathies, incompetent valves, left to right shunts, ventricular septal defect, VSD, or patent ductus arteriosus, PDA. The pathological S3 may be the first clinical sign of congestive heart failure. The S3 may have its origin in either left or right heart. The S3 of left ventricular origin is best heard at the apex. The S3 of right ventricular origin is best heard at the left lateral sternal border. The S3's low frequency is best heard with the bell lightly held. Both S3 and S4 increase with exertion and become fainter with the patient sitting or standing. Third heart sounds are often associated with sharp outward precordial movements, which frequently can be seen or felt. Listen to the following S3. The third sound will be taken out occasionally to enable you to determine its position in the cardiac cycle. The following example demonstrates an S3 in a patient manifesting congestive heart failure. Since the heart rate is rapid, one of the first compensatory mechanisms of failure, one has the impression that there are three sounds with each cardiac cycle. 